Hello folks and welcome to the Vertigo Tea Party and let's try Heavy Bullets. It's developed by Terry Velleman, published by Devolver Digital. It's an early access game that you can pick up for $9.99 for Windows, Linux, or Mac. You can buy it on the Steam Store or the Humble Store. All relevant links will be in the video description below. Well, the video, that's why it's the video description. Let's go ahead and hop in here because the intro music is very loud and you cannot adjust the music volume, which is one of the things that I dislike in general. But anyway, let's not start off on a negative note. So this is a first person shooter roguelike. And I seem to say this a lot, but a lot of you who have been watching my content for a while know that I don't like roguelikes. However, I do want to show this game off because I do find it to be interesting. Uh, they sent me a you know review copy, asked me to check it out. So I was like, okay, I will. And as with all games, even if it's a genre I am not crazy about, I will try my best to be fair and show it off fairly. So, because the important thing is that you guys make an informed decision on if you want to purchase the game or not. My personal feelings are not really all that relevant. Well, I guess they kind of are. Anyway, babbling now. So this game is, I think, a lot like Paranautical Activity. I haven't actually played Paranautical Activity, so please spare me your commenting wrath if it's not like it at all. But um, anyway, you find items. Uh, we got a homing bomb, that's cool. We can have one item at a time unless we get a backpack, I think, which at that point we can get more items. Now there are various various uh, vending machines throughout. This also reminds me, by the way, of Fancy Skulls. I don't know if developers really hate having their games compared to other people. S games that are somewhat or not similar at all. I, if so, I apologize, but I do that partially to kind of inform my audience as to what this game plays like. Oh god, luckily I got a good shot off. Those turrets are nasty as hell. So you might notice when I'm shooting, I'm getting bullets bouncing up in the air. Seems like I'm getting a lot of ammo. Just the opposite, my friend, just the opposite. So, I ah, help. I was trying to show you something and this guy interrupted. I was trying to back up. Anyway, if you look at the bottom right, you see how many bullets you have in your revolver. Now when I shoot, it as you might imagine, uses up one of those bullets. However, bullets do not tend to drop from anything in this game. You need to pick your guns back up. I always forget about those stupid worms that are hiding in the grass. So you need to pick it up and reload it. Now you have to reload manually. So I've just run out of bullets, which obviously is not a good scenario, but the bullets will bounce, they make noises, so they tend to be pretty easy to find. So you pick them up, but pick, wow, he's bouncing really high. Oh god, and I hit the wrong button. I hit spacebar. There is, oh, that bomb is, I don't know where that bomb went, it was a homing bomb. But, so once you pick the, the bullets up, you can see at the bottom right, the first icon is how many bullets you have, the second one is how many grenades you have, and I'll use a grenade in just a little bit. So you have to reload, but you reload one at a time, so I had to hit reload, which is R. And I did it loudly on purpose so that you could hear it, so yes, you do have to reload each chamber, which is interesting. How necessary is that? I don't know. It's sort of, it, it gives it a kind of interesting feel. It does kind of form, feel more like you're reloading a revolver one bullet at a time. So in that aspect is pretty cool. So med bay here, we can heal, bring our max level up for $100, a gold potion, which I don't know what that does, and a repellent, which I don't know what that does, for $20. Now one thing is, when you're first playing the game, it's gonna be one of those roguelikes where there's a lot of items, but you don't quite know what they do at first. But, one thing this game is really good about, and if I can find an item, I'll show you. But if you if you have an item in your hand already, and I see, see the worms, they like to hide the worms in the in the grass. That would sound like some kind of dirty euphemism, but I promise, at least in my case, it wasn't meant to be. Not this time, at any rate. Oh, I heard an enemy. One of those floating... Yep. Trigger finger saves me again. Many years of FPS have, have saved my life just now. But um, yeah, it does a good job of explaining like when you have an item in the escape screen, it actually tells you what they are, which I very much like. I don't like when a game just throws you in and doesn't explain anything about what's going on, even the basic mechanics. Story-wise, sure. Basic mechanics, no. Ooh, I think that was a key card, which we can use to open a special area a little bit later. I think that's the first one I found. So another med bay. Now these... I, these levels, if you're familiar with roguelikes, you should know that... I've probably already guessed, rather, that all these levels are randomly generated. 
So each time you play is going to be a little different. I hate these turrets. And I always try to take them out with bombs, but it never works out. So I'm just going to... There we go. Didn't have too much trouble. I'm used to just spamming R a lot. Like as soon as I use a bullet, I just pretty much spam it until I hear that little noise. You can also buy more bullets. You can occasionally find more bullets, but it's rare, so you'll want to always pick your bullets back up. We can buy a bullet for 10 bucks, running shoes for 40, which makes you run faster, a rocket, or a bomb for 10. Um, let's go ahead and pick up the rocket, because why not? And now we can look and rocket explodes on impact. How odd that a rocket would explode on impact. Now, here's where it lists what you're carrying. My speed shows my speed of nine. Uh, reload is level one and carry item is level one, which you can actually buy upgrades to make your reload time faster. But to be totally honest, I don't see the point. Maybe that's for a little bit later on. I haven't been able to get very far because I'm not good at roguelikes and I just don't have the patience for it, which is really funny because I have a lot of patience with games like like um, XCOM and things like that. But uh, in roguelikes, I don't have a lot of patience, which is one reason I'm very bad at them. And one thing I think is cool about this, this is another item. Right, let me show you this other item. This um, is ore. I don't know what it's for. That rhymed. Or valuable. Oh, valuable item. Ah, so I could probably go... I can't sell items here, as far as I can tell. I think you can only sell at the bank. So if there was a, f a bank nearby, I could sell this ore. But in this case, I'm just going to keep the rocket. Now, this is a silver heart, which basically allows you to absorb one hit without it taking your life. Your life being at the bottom left. You can also see how many key cards I have, which is one, and how many Dolores I have, which is 33. 33 Dolores. Oh, you an enemy. Got to be careful. We're definitely not going to use the rocket in close quarters, if I can help it. Oop, I just did it. I'm so used to space being jump that that throws me off. Well, we used the rocket. We shot it into the wall, which was obviously the best possible way we could use that. Let's grab the silver heart. Silver life. It looks like a heart, and it's silver, so I'm just calling it the silver heart. So, it's been an interesting game. The thing that I like about this the most is how you have to be... You have to take your time... And you have to plan and you need to try to remember where you see vending machines. Because a lot of times, like my health is really low, but I have a lot of money. And I'll be like, oh man, I know I saw a vending machine a while back, but I don't remember where it is. So sometimes you'll need to backtrack or want to backtrack. I see that little worm there. Not going to get me again. But you probably will, but... Um, whoa. Oh. And there are things like that. where th There was a worm there, but something poison me i honestly have no idea how you get poisoned i don't know if it has something to do with the worm being in the grass that seems to be when it happens the most uh poison will slowly kill you so i'm pretty much doomed at this point unless this will cure it a uh, speed pill that, that's just speed that's not gonna really help us um let's go ahead and let's run back i think poison can't kill you now that i think about it i think that it can only get you low on health and i just use the speed pill to kind of speed this up because you don't want to watch me do a lot of backtracking but i i really like that aspect of the game of oh, this bullets where i mean i'll grab this ore too sorry i keep stopping myself mid-sentence where's that ore at ah oh, hell unfortunately items don't bounce so i don't remember where i left that ore but at any rate i like that you need to kind of remember the lay of the land so that oh you see like just now like okay crap i need to go heal myself I need to backtrack a bit and find the healing station and heal myself. I'm finding these bullet stations left and right, though. I also picked up some extra bullets, as you can see. I've actually got a full chamber and I've got two extra bullets. So at this point, running out of bullets is unlikely. In fact, there's only been one situation I've ever actually ran out of bullets. Let's go ahead and heal. And you can see, heal's kind of expensive given the amount of money we get. And it only heals about one heart. So, yeah, you definitely going to want to be very careful with taking damage in this game so i really like that aspect i like you know you have to be very careful you have to plan and because one you've only got the six bullets because the one time that i did run out of bullets was when there was like kind of a nasty room with like two turrets and like some other enemy in the room so i had to try to take them out from far away but 
if you miss, well, you run out of bullets, and now it's like, well, shoot, now I have to use my grenades or, or whatever it is that you need to use. Shooting it just in case. There's nothing over here, whatever it was, we grabbed that already. And I promise I will show the, the bombs, which again are the, the three little yellow circles at the bottom right. Oh, so we made it to the end of the level. It looks like there's eight levels. Now I notice four and eight are lit up. I don't quite know what that means. I don't know if that means there's bosses on those levels or not. I haven't been able to get that far because as I've mentioned, I'm not good at roguelikes because I just don't have the patient for one. But this is one of those games that I do think that people who like roguelikes should enjoy. It seems like a different roguelike than say, like Binding of Isaac or, or uh, what did I just play? Vertical Drop Heroes HD. Obviously other than it's first person shooter, but it's, it's different in that it feels like it's more strategic. What is this? Repellent, passive effect. What does this do? Repels snakes and bugs. Oh, nice. Do I want that more than the ore? For now, yes, we might come back for that. If we find a bank that's close by. We just need to try to remember where that is and good luck with that. Oh. All right, pick up all this money. But yeah, I, I feel it's a bit more on the strategic side. Obviously, there's twitch skills that you need to, where enemies, you know, will pop up and you need to quickly be able to take them out. But there's definitely a strategic element where you need to, oh god, not just shoot bullets at random. But also, planning your attack, planning how you're going to spend your money, remembering where, where and when to go back to buy things, things like that. So I like those elements for sure. Oops. Now I've got... Oops. Now is when those extra bullets do kind of come into play. And again, that's probably later on the extra bullets or the bullets actually do factor in. But to be honest, up until this point, the bullet limitation I found hasn't really added a lot to the game. It seems to be one of the less important aspects, ironically, with it being part of the title of the game. Let's see that worm over there. Again, I'm guessing this probably changes later on, but being bad at the game, I don't get very far. So again, there's only been, I've played this about an hour or so, and I've only had one situation where I ran out of bullets and I was just being extremely impatient uh, and could have easily avoided that situation. Now, graphically, I definitely can see how this game is going to be a hit or miss for some folks. At first, it's very, you know, the, the colors are very striking, very noticeable. After a while, it kind of does drag a little, ah, oh, you little. So we're down to one health. It's not good. We will probably be dying very soon. Be careful here. Oh, take him out before he can get us a chance to attack. But yeah, it's definitely an acquired... Well, I won't say acquired, but I can see this is a probably a love it or hate it type graphical style. Audio-wise, the music can be... I, I like the music for the most part. Sometimes it seems to play for no reason. Like, sometimes when you get into combat, it'll play because, well, you're in combat. But then other times it seems to be just like... It'll, it seems like it just starts randomly and it's just going like, Oh, something's going on, but then nothing goes on. Just shooting into here, because why not? Alright, so you got bullets that we can buy. Again, that's not really going to help us. Uh, I, Let's save our money for... This is what we need. And we can also buy a red potion, which heals more. I believe. Let's just buy it. Grab it. Use it. Uh, nope. I think it healed the exact same amount. I think, the obviously, the nice thing about the potion is you get to take it with you. Right, so you're not worrying about... Or if you need to heal, like, in the heat of battle or something like that, but... As opposed to in the heat of the night, which you might need, you know, healing as well in the heat of the night. Alright. So, yeah, as you can see so far, the whole bullet mechanic... Oh, well... Has it been that useful? I'm gonna try to bomb this guy every other time. It's not worked. It always... Oh, God. This is gonna be rough. Oh. Hello, you. Grab this bullet. Now, for these turrets... Oh. We need to not have the mouse freak out. All right, we got one of them. You need to shoot the little boxes next to them. Luckily, we took them out. With only taking, eh, not too much damage. Now, here's a bank. Now, 
In the bank, you can do a few things. You can shop, sell. In fact, we're going to sell our repellent for five whole dollars. Not a very good exchange right here. Bombs you can buy. Uh, oh, we can just, this is stuff we can sell. Because I went into sale. How odd. So banking here, you'll notice I have a balance of $162. You can actually deposit money so that if you die, future characters have access to that money. So that's kind of another interesting strategic aspect to this in that you're like, okay, well, I think this is a doomed run. I've got $70. There's not a med, med station in sight and I'm down to like half a heart. So you know what? And we're just like at the start of the game. So you know what? I'm going to, you know, deposit my money and, you know, save it for another run where maybe I'm doing really well. And then I can use that money to buy, you know, a bunch of items that I need, like health items or whatever. So I think that's an interesting option too. And from what I can tell, you don't lose anything when you deposit. So if I had to put $50 in, I get 50 back. There's no diminishing returns on that. Now here's something I don't understand exactly. Let's go to shopping. There's life insurance, a discount card, a last will. Now life insurance, you put money into this, like you, you put like $10 in, but it only puts like a dollar or $2 or whatever into your bank. I don't understand why you would do that instead of just depositing it. I'm sure there's a reason, but I haven't been able to figure it out yet. It seems like it's always better to just deposit it. Obviously, there's there's almost certainly a reason to do it. I just don't know what it is. Uh, a last will is an item so that if you die while you're holding the last will, you actually keep all your money and I think you, hold, I keep, you keep both your money and your items, I believe. A discount card just means that all shops are going to be cheaper. I don't know what the plus sign means. I don't know if that means if it survives through death. I wouldn't think so, but let's go ahead and buy the discount card. Oh, it looks like you can actually buy more. Oh, I think plus means that you can actually buy more of them. Like there's multiple levels. That's interesting. And let's see storage. You can store an item. I'm assuming if I deposit an item, I can pick it up on another playthrough. Again, factoring in kind of as a strategy element, it's like, okay, I want to just stock up, get all this money, get all these items for like the ultimate run. and But you're still risking it because you can only carry so much with you. And if you die and you don't have like say the life insurance, the, the will on you, then you lose it all. And you don't want to necessarily carry the will on you all the time because that's one less item you can carry, which you can get a backpack in this game. Uh, and I think that allows you to carry one more item. I'm not 100% sure. Right as I put my face in it, I was like, but there's a worm in here. That could sound really bad out of context. But normally here, I would go back to the health station. Oh, 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 wow. Okay, I've never seen these guys. Those are new enemies to me. I'm glad I didn't die to them immediately. I figured they was gonna figured they were gonna do something special here. You know, I guess let's go, let's run back. Let's go back and heal real quick. Even after saying I'm not going to. I don't think it's too far back. Yeah, here it is. Heal 24. Ah, that's right, because I was like, why is it cheaper? After remembering I just bought the the stuff to uh, make shops cheaper. That might also last through death. I don't know. That's what I. That's one thing I have an issue with is some things like that. Oh, God. Is that things are not... Oh, God, poison too. Great. Poison, to me, I'm not a big fan of the poison. Because once you're poisoned, you're boned. There's, there's antidotes that you can get. But you... They're very rare that I found it. And I don't know, this getting poison just seems like a cheap way to damage you. Antidote, sure. Let's use it. Oh, hey. Oh, I guess the poison only lasted a little bit, so I pretty much wasted the antidote. Good job. But yeah, it, honestly, poison just seems like a cheap way to do extra damage to you. Because basically, if you get hit once, it's going to, I, I don't know, I don't know, maybe it only does so much damage over time, I'm not 100% sure. But I thought it took you always down to 100, to 100, yes. Alright, let's actually, oh, I think there's more mobile enemy over there, we don't want him flanking us. Maybe it only damages you for like a one health, I don't know. Wow, I actually killed something with my bomb for once, it's amazing best heavy bullets player 
in the world in a we got another med bay uh, we can't really afford it we have a coin magnet coin magnet just means that you don't have to get right up on top of the coins to to pick them up it, like your your pull in range is larger I don't really see a big big benefit to that uh, it's just a convenience thing gold potion I don't know what that does probably makes more gold drop or something like that oh god all right, we're going to get you. Ouch. Yep. It's about to be the end. I want to see. I don't even know. Oh, he's got one of those boxes close to him. All right. The turret's almost certainly going to get us. Because I don't... Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. All right. One... Oh, God. It's going to be... Oh god. I didn't thought there was a plant for some reason that could run through it. So it gives you your stats. It tells you no insurance, no inheritance. So you start the game over fresh. From level one, with a whole new level layout and everything. You don't have the only money or anything that you will have in this case will be the money that you had in the bank. A lot of times they will give you a bank kind of near the beginning, or maybe I just was lucky for quite a few spawns there where I'd always look around and always found the bank. But I think maybe that was just, just blind luck. Stupid worms. Stupid worms. But if I'd have had the will with me, I think I would have kept all my bullets, all my money. I didn't have any items on me, but well, again, the will is the only thing you can have on you. Unless you have the backpack, and I'm still, again, not 100% sure how the backpack works. I don't know if you just let you hold more items or what. I would, I'm pretty sure that it does. I think I saw that in a description somewhere. I also don't know if you can get more health, but I, one thing, one complaint that I have is the noise of the coins and the bullets bouncing everywhere. Pretty annoying after a while. It, it's it can be just grating, especially when you're just running around and you're not picking the money up yet for whatever reason. You just keep hearing that blink, 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 blink. It can be pretty, pretty damn irritating. I wish they would have picked a less high pitch shrilly type sound, but uh, that's maybe that's just me. I don't know, but I'm personally not a big fan, and I'm probably going to play a little bit more recklessly this time because I feel like you guys have seen the game by this point. You understand how this works, and they really want me to buy bullets. Let me let's check the price in the bullets. One thing I did forget to do. I want to see if that upgrade we got to cheaper prices carried over. Probably not, but yeah, nope. You lose the carryover for cheaper items. Oh, there's the money. Now, see, I like the fact that the coins flip around and make noise just to make them a little easier to see for old people like me who can't see all that well. But yeah, the 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 noise that was chosen, uh, I not a big fan of personally. Med bay, we don't need the uh, carry item. Ah, of course, one dollar away from an extra carry item. Not that it matters because we don't really have any other items that we can carry anyway. Oop. Oh, I heard you. Nope. We don't have the card. Oh, or maybe we do. See, I don't know how that works. Sometimes it seems to let me open it even though I don't recall ever picking up the card. And then sometimes it doesn't. Not quite sure how that works. All right, this is this is new to me. Spiked helmet. Passive effect. What does this do? Hit melee enemies back. Oh, okay. So I guess if we take damage, they take damage as well. If they get melee, or if they get within melee range, of course. <laughs> Though obviously the goal is not to get hit at all. So here's the bank. Oh, I see you. Stupid worms. You know what's funny is, even knowing those worms are there, after a while sometimes they get you because you just, you're not paying attention. Which, you know, is kind of the point. Uh, let's see, let's... Let's go ahead and withdraw... Let's not shoot the gun or shoot the thing. Now, one thing that's kind of weird is you can only deposit or withdraw in these specific amounts. So if I've got $55, well, that's a bad example. If I got $57, which I actually do have, and I wanted to deposit all of it, I can't. I could only deposit up to 55 because 50 and then five, which is very bizarre. Anyway, let's take 150 bucks out. And hopefully we can find something to buy. Hey, speak of the devil. What do we have here? Backpack for 40, a mine, and a knife. 
The knife seems kind of weak to me. Maybe it's just not using it right, but... Oh. Alright, there's our backpack. Is there another item there that I can actually find? Or buy? Yeah, let's grab the mine. Hmm. Ah, I see. So yeah, it looks like the backpack gives me one more item, and I'm switching back and forth with Tab. So that's pretty cool. So for now, we'll just keep the spiked helmet on. So yeah, I definitely enjoy the, the more strategic aspects. It's not just run and gun, and when you die, you die. If you plan out, if you're careful, if you look around... You know, it is going to make a, a significant difference in how long that you, you survive. There's a reload upgrade. But yeah, it's an interesting game. Again, would I end up playing this a lot? Probably not, just because I hate the aspect where you start over. But that's kind of how roguelikes work. And as I say in pretty much every video where I cover a roguelike, which seems like a lot of them, that I'm okay with that mechanic existing because I know other people enjoy it. But... Well, the thing that the point I guess that I'm always trying to make is that for those of you out there like me who don't like roguelikes but kind of want to get in on it, because I, you know, every time people get hyped about like FTL or Isaac or whatever, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, I want to, I want to find one of these that I actually enjoy. And it's not that I don't enjoy these games. I enjoyed my time with FTL, with Isaac, with this game, with Vertical Drop Heroes HD, but. It gets to the point where I'm like having fun and then I die and it's like, oh, I had to start over from the very beginning again. And yes, you do can you can carry certain things over in these roguelikes. This wasn't really intended to become a commentary on roguelikes and what I don't like about roguelikes. Or even like roguelike likes or roguelike light likes. I'm just gonna run into all of these, I think. I think that's probably the best plan. Take as much damage as possible. The game developer, you didn't see that coming, did you? Oh god. Didn't see that one. Did I didn't see that one coming. Good job, game developer. Fair play. But anyway, yeah, if you're like me and you're liking for that one roguelike that's gonna change your mind, this one didn't do it for me. Again, it's enjoyable. I enjoy playing it, but then when I have to die and start all over, that's the part I don't like. But again, people who like roguelikes, that's you know, that's part and parcel with how roguelikes work, so you'll be like, oh, this is no problem at all. And that's cool for you. So I'm um, hopefully, if those of you who do like roguelikes and are watching this might have found another game that you want to try out. We're gonna play for a little bit longer, and if I don't die, which is gonna be miraculous, we'll go ahead and cut it. Um, Because I would think life insurance maybe is a deal where, where you pay some money in. Like if I put $10 again in, again, it only puts an actual one to $2 into my deposit. But maybe you start off with the money, like right at the beginning when you die. But I tried that once and I don't think I actually did. But anyway, let's, uh, well, we'll go ahead and grab the last wheel so you can see how that works. But problem is we've only got room for one thing. So let's switch through the mine. And I'm trying to show you various items. Ah, see, see what I mean? See what I mean? Ah, oop. That's not going to help me there. Awesome, that worked out well. Thank you, vending machine. You helped more than you'll ever know because you are a vending machine and I don't think you can really know a lot. Let's lay this mine down. And as a mine would work as you would expect, you drop it, enemies that run into it go boom. So let's go back and find that will that I bought and probably have lost forever now. Nope, there it is. All right. Now, one thing I'm not sure of, and actually, I, I'm not sure how this works. The spike shoulder pads or whatever they are are a are a passive item. So I don't know. I would think that I have it, so it should always be active, right? Even if it's not the active or current item. But I'm not 100% sure, so I can't say with a certainty that that is the case. Go ahead and heal up, I guess. Sure. At least I'm doing better than I normally do while recording. So I actually look halfway, halfway decent. Normally I was dying often when I'm not even, before I could even get to the next stage. I thought it was like a giant spider or something. Did not want that. 
Oh, God. Those things suck. Those things I do remember. Because they blow up, as you can tell. Alright, so we're somehow down to three bullets. Oh, did we lose any bullets over here? I don't think so. We still got three bombs. Nice. We blew up the little explodey guy, which helped us. There's a worm. Oh. Alright, and we died. And right after I said, ah, oh, I'm doing actually pretty good. So now if we start a new game, let's see if we kept the backpack as well. Uh, no. The only thing we actually kept was the key, I think. So we didn't keep the key. We kept... We didn't keep the money either. Hmm. So what did we keep exactly? The only thing was the key? Hmm. I don't know. Normally I think I kept the money. I don't know. I'm obviously missing something. Uh, maybe you... No, I really swore you kept the money. Anyway, so that is heavy bullets. Again, oh, I got poison as well. But uh, yeah, that's heavy bullets. Again, it's only $9.99 and it's an early access game. So, you know, more changes are going to be coming. Well, you don't know that, but theoretically more changes will be coming as the game gets more developed. And I think it's very early, early access, I believe. I think it only just went in early access recently. I could be wrong. I be thinking of a different game, but I believe that's the case. I did keep my bullets. I just noticed that. So I've got my bullets. Sorry, I'm just kind of running amok while I babble now. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that will thing. Again, somebody else probably knows exactly what I'm missing. But yeah, definitely check it out. For $9.99, those of you who like roguelikes and are looking for yet another roguelike to play, I'd say uh, check it out. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this where I show you some games that maybe you haven't heard of yet, go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Also, leave comments. Let me know what you thought of this video. And if you get a chance to play the game, leave comments. Let me know what you thought of the game itself. Hey, what is that? Oh, a distraction. Again, well played, developer. Well played. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Step back though. We are getting this I, I worked up you, about a mobile game. I mean, I do hate you though. <laughs> I want to be 100% clear with a moment of seriousness. I hate your guts.